Kate, what did you do? Just because my chat resets my run, you don't have to go on a banning spree. Now the start of what might actually be a PB, who knows, it won't be, is going to have me berating you for banning somebody accidentally. You went to see Dub's art and you clicked the wrong spot and timed somebody out. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Being a moderator is hard. No, I've definitely done that before. Anybody with a sword has done that before. Yeah, scary name. I have not done that, but only because I had my chat put into emergency mode right after they implemented it. It was one of those things where I had not yet heard of it because I'm very good at keeping up with everything. And uh, <laughs> it's like, all of a sudden, my chat is super duper locked down. there's a new button to click you got to see what it does that's true especially if it's big and red the big shiny red button you got to click those they're important yeah twitch twitch did put it out as like hey check out shield mode and it's like maybe maybe when you say hey check this out you should probably give a little bit more information up front. I don't know. That's just me. Genuinely confused why your deus ex quote was, was offensive. Uh, fresh and gluten-free. I, I do not believe that it was. Welcome back. Well, my favorite thing about being told to reset this run is that I get to set the controller down, stretch my hands, Stretch my arms. It's better than Final Fantasy V, I guess. I'm so glad that the split sound effect has continued. I hope it never dies. Well, I mean, no, the, the split sound effect never dies. Everything else surrounding it definitely dies, obviously. I 
feel like in this instance, I have to ask both Dubs and Kate if I can use this picture in my pre-roll. Because it is very funny. Yeah, I know, you've told me that before, Dubs. And I believe you, but I'm still gonna ask every time. You feel like Xseed would have had a, a promising career as a race car driver if he didn't become a junker? Or perhaps as a translator of a Japanese video game? Neither of those sound very realistic. When you name your kid X, you know that there's only one thing that they're destined for. That's right. Saving the world from robots. That's right. Network enabled window environments. You don't know anyone named X, but you do have a friend named Chi. I bet your friend called Chi is really good at Mahjong. need to kill you. Prof Ness, how's it going? Time I'm looking to achieve? I mean... I will accept a 540-something. 
really want to get like a low five, but I'll accept a 540 something. End of lunch, you're about to start refactoring a node server. I hope that goes well. Gonna miss out on the end? That's very sad. There's a Mahjong break in like four hours. Mahjong be finished this time. Yeah, this time I'm going to set it to an East game instead of an East South game. How much rank did I end up losing? Well, yesterday's game was a friendly match, so you don't lose rank for those. Yeah, friendly is just, they, they affect your pride. But honestly, with the, with the terror that uh, She-Wolf went on yesterday, I don't feel like I even lost that much pride. It's like 75,000 points, and the other 25,000 were for the rest of the table to share among us. I refuse to read that statement out loud. Every time I do, I regret it. I'll say it after I get through this room. See, I even thought it. I thought it in there. There, that was a warning shot. Newster, how's it going? Yeah, never acknowledge the run. The game knows. Thank you for the good luck. Exactly. You saw something go in your way during the run? No, you fucking well didn't. Not if you know what's good for you, you didn't.
Okay, now it's time to heal. Cat says hi. Hello. This isn't gonna gold, but it's not that far off. Careful, careful saying that. If you... If you say that, um... In my chat, apparently, Kate might ban you. Deus Ex references are apparently a sore spot, I guess. I don't fully understand why, but it seems to be a thing. <laughs> oh, hey, Kate Libsy, I didn't see you there. How's it going? Stop bullying? Okay. I'm done bullying. Bully time is over. Well, I mean, I'm gonna bully some robots, if that's okay. But I won't bully my friends. Please call your friends. Thank you. Not sure I could seriously bully somebody if I tried. I mean, if I put my mind to it, I imagine I could, but I don't like bullying people, so... Like, I, I don't imagine it's likely that I would try. your friends. Try again. The one thing that I shouldn't have attacked. Oh. What is speedrunning? But bullying. Nice. It was like immediate. But bullying games until they let you win quickly. Meat Shield gets it. Or, no, excuse me, Chaos 42666 gets it. Meat Shield probably also gets it.
Put a pancake in a waffle wire? Spoken as a true agent of chaos. say that that particular name rolls off the tongue. Waffles are just oily, funny-shaped pancakes? That means that you're making your waffles wrong. You know, waffle, uh, pancakes are soft, they're fluffy, they're light. Now, waffles inside are indeed fluffy. But they are, they're crispy on the outside. That makes them meaningfully different. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm the worst at this video game, holy shit. Alright, bullets, and I have the money that I want. Can somebody, like, message me the Dr. Dubs art so that I can see it? Cheese pancakes are greasy as hell? They would be, yeah, that doesn't sound very good. To each their own. Please, just sell me grenades. I should heal. I don't want to fight you. Alright. <laughs> this 
so far this run has been just a little rough around the edges. That's fine though. Watching my last attempt, you had a question from late in the run. When fighting the enemies with shields, why do I go for the shields instead of uh, going for the unprotected sides? That is a completely fair question. The reason is because the tiles that actually hurt their health are primarily behind the shield. I can damage their other stats, but if I want to kill the enemies themselves, I have to kill the shield. The only um, exception to that rule is that I can attack the... Um, I, I can attack the enemies with missiles. because that hits all tiles, including the tiles that are currently protected by the shield. Yeah, totally reasonable question. Because, yeah, if you're not aware of that, it seems really weird that I'm, that I'm just spending a bunch of extra time, what looks like extra time, breaking the shield. Technically, I'm playing a first-person shooter. That's true. That's just a fact. There's also a strong argument to be made that I'm playing a point-and-click adventure. Yeah, I really like this game's battle system. Playing a very complicated DVD menu. I feel like DVD menus would have been received a lot better if they were all like this. This game is 16 by 9 if you really think about it. I'm not sure that that's... I don't think that that dodged me. The old man just dodged me. Amazing. Ah, oh, that's true. You do go to a movie theater. Cinematic widescreen. You're right. I stand corrected. I don't want to fight you. Still don't want to fight you. Cool. I feel like I just got away with something. Yeah, I would love to take credit for those dodges and say that those weren't all luck, but that was that was mostly panic and luck. Honestly, if I was to describe my speedrunning style, it would be mostly panic and luck. I don't really want to use bombs on these guys, but they take a million years to fight and I need to level up before I'm faster than them.
Yeah, almost every robot has a self-destruction mode. Uh, basically, once it has no weapons, almost every AI will self-destruct. Don't, don't like having to fight people here. But yeah, other than removing their final weapon, you can absolutely reenact the Meat God um, Dwarf Fortress Let's Play in this game. No, Boat Murdered is the the famous um, communal uh, town. I'm pretty sure Meat God was not part of Boat Murdered. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I'm glad for the strength up, but I kind of wish that I got the extra XP for being a lower level against this boss. Yeah, the only time that I've ever heard of a media creator getting in trouble uh, with, like, a military power over their like, writing or creations or whatever was, um, apparently Dr. Strangelove, uh, was, was a real problem. Oh, thank God. I was really worried that I was gonna be death spiraled here. You can only activate the cutscene from below. Oh yeah, the War Thunder thing is very funny. The fact that people are so into War Thunder that they keep on leaking military secrets to make their favorite tanks better. Is that War Thunder? No, I'm thinking of um, World of Tanks or whatever. But yeah, it's it's apparently just a pervasive issue. Nene, how's it going? I have bad news about the run with your name. It's also worth. They keep doing it for War Thunder too. Yeah, it seems to be a problem across like the military sim 
Like, not even sim, like arcade sim genre. I guess people realize with, um, with regular style, military sim, god damn it, simulators that like, maybe we shouldn't leak these secrets. But once it's arcade style, now it's safe. Now we can leak. People like their military hardware and want to make sure that their toy is the coolest one. I, um, like, I don't know what to say other than fair, except that fair is one million percent not the correct response. What's bad about the news? <laughs> What's the bad news about the run with, uh, with your, your name? Well, uh, Sunflower Seed absolutely got turbo murdered. I'm sorry, I tried. I tried very hard. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger decided that Sunflower Seed's not his favorite. Not what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah, the reset was in good humor. It was because my splits weren't showing. Also, nobody in chat chose the name Slow Seed. That was me just putting in a name. Seemed appropriate. Once upon a time, I tried to grind out some levels here. seconds just from the extra the extra encounters that I had to run from. That sounds about right. Yeah, the blinking animations are just, they're really great when you fast forward through the text. So if you hold the cancel button, most text will fast forward. And it's just, it's very funny. Move, move, move. Thank you. I don't know that that was faster. That probably wasn't faster. Don't you hate it when you have to blink after every word you say? Intensely, yes. Ooh, random seed. Yeah, that'll be... Probably tomorrow's run.
Actually, tomorrow I might not be streaming. It'll either be tomorrow's run or Thursday's run. One of the two. Yeah. By the way, Katrina, don't wanna don't wanna cause alarm. There are murder bots outside. Yeah, they leave. The moment that you get to the door, they fuck off. They're like, well, I guess that's good enough. Snatchers use stairs? Some of them. Who's your chauffeur? Computer. It's another one of those details that the, um, the Sega CD version is very clear about. Snatchers made by Tesla? No, none of them spontaneously combust. Not all of the robots are driving around aimlessly, to be fair. Quite a lot of them home in on Gilliam. Oh my gosh. Don't wanna don't wanna talk to you. I can deal with one. I almost mashed into the stick bomb though. Expensive movie? No, it's very cheap. They gave me $65,446 for having been willing to take a look at the, the movie. It's a really cool life hack. You show up to a movie theater, and all that you need is... Like, you, you show up, you've got maybe some, some grenades and some guns and some bullets. And then they tell you that you won the prize and they give you a bunch of money. It's pretty cool.
Once again, you maintain that I am describing a robbery. I'm not wearing any robes. Look at my character. There's no robes being worn. Oh, I super duper need to heal. Thank you. Good talk. French coat is basically a robe. Oh, okay, that does make sense. Fair point. Yeah, it's a it's a fancy, maybe made of leather robe. Yeah. All right. No, no you're right. Gillian is robed. Let me win. Thank you. It's a fancy outside robe. Oh, you're you're probably right. That makes sense. really worth calling attention to the level of detail on the robot attack animations. Yeah, they're good! If there's a box launcher, it launches the appropriate number of tubes. From yeah, no, it, it's genuinely fantastic from an artistic standpoint. It is very clear that the people who worked on this were really, really having a good time. really good time watching me play this. I, I'm glad. I'm having a fantastic time hanging out, playing genuinely, let's let's be honest, a kind of weird game and definitely a less known game. And I get to hang out with a bunch of cool people. That owns. I know a Kojima game being weird sounds kind of unthinkable, but it's true. If, you're, if you pay attention to this game, you might notice it is it's a little weird. So I can't buy any guns this trip. I'm going 
gonna be back for more stuff, so... Watching the things that Aviancer and I play has kind of skewed your perception of what's weird. Cool. Good, frankly. You like how Mr. Bomb McArms is just depressed the whole time? But I'm buying an absolutely... yeah, just... Here, pardon me, I'm gonna buy one military's arsenal, please. Also, some bullet. I'll take more bullet, please. Alright, now time to go buy... Drugs. Ah, no. Robot, talk to me. I might have to go into this room twice during this run. This sucks. I did a bad job. We never have any NAs, they're always out of stock. I know it sucks. Time to watch a movie? Soon. Watching the movie happens during the Meet Napoleon split. Now I'm gonna go, go buy some stolen goods. I'm gonna run away from this dude. I say I'm gonna buy some stolen goods. Really, I'm gonna pay for the chance to win stolen goods. It's basically the same thing, but apparently the law is okay with one of these, but not the other. around gambling in arcades? Where would they get that idea? 
Anyway, let me tell you about pachinko. It's very popular in Japan. What is that thing that I just won? A preferred customer's coupon to purchase a trip to Mars. You know, like you do. And now the thing that I just purchased was a movie ticket. Anybody remember movie paths? This is basically how it worked. Why do I want a ticket to Mars? Uh, because the guy who runs the um, the liquor store in this town had his family preferred coupon for their vacation trip to Mars stolen. So I'm doing a fetch quest so that he'll write me a letter of recommendation so that I can get into the, the club where Napoleon is, so that I can talk to Napoleon, so that I can get information. Look, it's very, uh, <laughs> what if Kojima wrote a detective story is basically what I'm trying to say here. Sounds like an adventure game. Uh, I said this is a point and click adventure. I could have just skipped to the last sentence about Kojima writing a detective story. Fair point, yeah, that's true. Yeah, what are the chances that the arcade, what uses stolen goods as prizes, would have the exact replacement for the thing that I'm looking for? It's wild, really. So I lose some time versus gold here, but we're only getting the one gun now. The 24 strength gun, which in some cases apparently you don't necessarily, um, <laughs> you're not allowed to buy at 25 strength for reasons I still don't fully understand. Jesus Juice, good morning. Hope you're doing well. That's true. Snatcher, Snatcher CD is... I mean, it's a visual novel. It's, it's kind of an adventure game, but I don't think that there's that much in the way of, like, Sierra-style Game Over stuff that tends to c come along with adventure games. Good morning, or else? Good luck, or else? Well, thank you. I, I will do my best to not fuck it up. As you can see right now, it's almost Christmas, and because of that, it's time for fireworks. I'm celebrating the fact that it's the 20th of December with these robots. They're very festive.
You know all about Fessor Robot Destruction? Nice. Wait, Destruction? No, 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 no. Celebration. We're celebrating with fireworks. People seem to be misunderstanding my my intentions. First, the thing about the robbery or whatever that is, and now not realizing that I'm celebrating with fireworks, with my friends, a fun ball. That's right. catch with the robots. That's, that's it. Not what I meant to do. Oh, I guess I could do it this way from now on. rank up basically right now. It's that guy, I'd never dodge him. Alright, I should be gun. I should be gun. I should be good to buy the gun now. news everybody I should be gun all right let's go to outer heaven this is a game by Hideo Kojima When do we meet Big Boss? At the very end of this game.
Do we have a long rant about the war economy coming? No. This was from back when uh, Kojima still had people telling him no. Six seems pretty bad. I should probably be running. Incandescent. How's it going? How goes the snatching? Um, unfortunately, quite quite well uh, for the snatchers. Um, many humans are now less human and more robot than previous. How did I get into running this game? Uh, I checked this game out. I played the I played it casually and the. The battle system, I thought, was very cool. That's unfortunate. And I decided, since the battle system seemed really cool, I may as well start running it. I got weirdly trapped in that corner. What do the Snatchers do with the humans that they snatch? Do they go to a farm upstate? Yeah, something like that. Uh, somebody earlier, or, or not earlier today, but yesterday, uh, posted the picture from the manual of the game, uh, or of the, uh, the, de the depiction of what it looks like when a person gets snatched. And hopefully somebody has that handy, because it's very good. He's a famous actor, Napoleon. Now that you mention it, Napoleon's voice is not entirely unlike Gilbert Gottfried in uh, SD Snatcher. It's it's got it's got that that feeling to it for sure.
Yep, they let me buy the gun. It, I think that it's just I need to get the rank up after I get the strength up. And it's probably some sort of weird quirk about the way that the actual logic gates the, uh, the purchase of that gun. Was there ever a non-SD snatcher? Yeah. Yeah, probably your uh, best bet for playing that is the Sega CD release. It's very good. Genuinely very good. Starbird, how's it going? Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, it didn't suck at all. I'm doing pretty all right, thank you for asking. How goes the snatching? Unfortunately, very well for the snatchers. Yeah, that big gold is just on the back of me getting very lucky, um, dodging encounters. Consider giving the Snatchers a chance. Maybe they're quite nice once you get to know them. Canonically, that's what I'm doing with Benson right now. Why be good when I can be lucky? It's a good model. Thankfully, we are not doing slots yet. I've got to go see a man about a grenade first. does love his grenades. This game is actually a love story between one man and all of the different types of grenades in the world. Thank you. 
will never fault somebody for their true love of explosives. That's good of you, Blue Flames. You wonder if Kojima likes Rambo. Um... I don't get Rambo vibes from any, I mean, any of his games that I have played. Like, real load-bearing asterisk there. I've played the 2D games. But in general, he seems to not be, like, super Rambo-y in the way that he does his game's presentation. No, I didn't want to talk to you. You're never going to fault the architects of the grimdark future for designing every building to be able to withstand multiple explosions from within. Well, they knew what they were building for. What's really amazing is that something has damaged these floors very clearly. These floors are damaged. But you know what has not damaged the floors? My grenades. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, fair enough. Good talk. That's because I'm throwing the grenades at the robots, not at the floors. Or the uh, you got, you got me there. That's true. I'm not throwing grenades at the floors or the walls. I'm being very respectful. I understand that this is somebody's space. were constructed out of a material able to withstand immense amounts of compression and shear force, but failed to account for the long-term effects of humidity and thermal deformation. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably about right. out of ingredients for pancakes? That's tragic. I'm so sorry.
No, 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 no. There's no split there. Yeah, the first thing that you do is uh, paralyze that robot and uh, destroy its gun. And because it's a boss, because it has the boss flag, it will not self-destruct when you destroy all of its weapons. You know what would be cool? A practice drama of this game? I mean, by all means. If you wanna, if you wanna take up learning how to write MSX software, please do. Exactly one speedrunner would really appreciate the effort. So at this point, I actually don't want to heal. Being low, low life is pretty good, because coming up, I'm going to have a forced cutscene where I'm supposed to be brought to almost death. And then I get saved by random Hajil. Yeah, the MSX uses a Z80. ADX calculators use a Z80 as well? That's surprising. I sort of assumed that they would use... a TI chip. Like an MSP430 or something. If I recall correctly, and, like, this is super fuzzy, so I could be completely wrong, but I think that the only purpose that the Z80 is used for in Mega Drive mode, because you can run Master System games on a Mega Drive. Please let me leave. Thank you. 
is I believe that it does drive the um, the input routine. This way? No. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot who doesn't know anything. It is this way. Down and left. I'm not using a map. And it turns out not using a map means that sometimes you don't know where you're going. Ready for me. But yeah, there's there's weird stuff with um, the Mega Drive's uh, input routines, which is one of the reasons for Nintendo retro consoles being easier to uh, to do hardware verifications on. At least there's no step route for the run. I mean, the thing is, if there's a step route, that means that you're able to make the run easier just by staying on the step route. I I like step routes. They're my friend. Yeah, the Genesis has really weird input timing issues. Please don't shoot me. Cool. Here you go. Yeah, especially because of the get-up. I'm, I'm definitely on team that Sting, as he appeared in Dune. Wow, rude. I'm trying to go somewhere. Agree. Assembly is fun. But I mean, assembly is fun for the sort of person who thinks that assembly is fun is kind of the problem. And for anybody else, it's tedious. Oh 
my god, please let me talk to you. Nobody's at your table. You can turn around for a second. So mad. Why are we gambling? Because Kojima decided that you needed to have real slots RNG in order to open this door. Excuse me? Yeah, that's that's an old old meme. But yeah, that that is that is a meme for sure. The person who said that they prefer writing Node.js over high level languages because it puts them closer to the metal.
I spent an embarrassingly long time being very surprised whenever somebody who was not in InfoSec would tell me that they read Hacker News, because I assumed that they meant THE Hacker News, which is a different publication, site, thing. I feel like it's an understandable mistake, but it did take me a very long time to realize what was going on. Yeah, I remember Taco. Didn't, didn't mean to throw that one. Rex, thank you so much for 27 months. That's just a weird amount of time to think about. I hope you're doing well, friend. That's as many as three nines. That's true. It is. You know, that being as many as three nines makes it better than Twitter lately. Of it. I'm glad to hear that. I have been pretty damn okay. Hanging in there. I get to I get to play a video game every so often, hang out with super cool people. It's also three to the third, which is a satisfying number. That is a satisfying number though. Everybody, you should be following Drex. He rules. His streams rule. My favorite ones are the ones that I can watch because he's not playing a 3D game. information for me. Come back. Yeah, 
hey, you're not gonna hear me complaining. I mean, I'm gonna complain that I'm not watching your stream because your stream is comfy as hell. But all I really care about is that my friends are having fun. Omni, you're gonna go AFK to get groceries for dinner tonight. Don't shoot any priests while you're gone. I can't promise that. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I will be shooting two priests. Maybe I don't... Do I shoot any? Maybe I won't shoot any priests. I'm not sure. I'm definitely not going to shoot the priest that I'm about to go have a conversation with right now. Promise. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot this guy. Catch. It's a good catch. Yeah, I did just do a little murdery do. That's true. That happened. Anyway, did you know that this is a Hideo Kojima game? to do the disc swap slightly dis uh, 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 not, um, distracted I was slightly distracted on account of the loud ice falling all right a little bit of time lost that's fine had any of the Metal Gear Solid games come out no but remember, Metal Gear pre-Solid did exist. Metal Gear 1 for the MSX had already come out. I think that this predates Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. But Solid Snake is the protagonist of all the Metal Gear games. Oh, Metal Gear 2 had already come out at this point. Fair enough. That's where Petrovich is from. Okay, okay. Yeah, good point. Actually, so I played Metal Gear 1 on the NES, which it's where, uh, to my understanding, doesn't do it doesn't do a great job of following the plot of Metal Gear. Um, my favorite part is how Metal Gear is just a computer that you can put some explosives on, and everything's good. That's why they needed a weapon to surpass it. 
put it that way, it makes so much sense. The only Metal Gear game that you've played is Metal Gear Solid 2, which you've been told is a wild choice to be the one to jump in on. The only thing that I know about Metal Gear Solid 2 is that it apparently has a very, very good fake game over sequence. And that's the extent of my knowledge of Metal Gear Solid 2. Please leave. Thank you. I need to stop trying to diagonal in this area. You just, you can't diagonal in the church. Which, like, you would think that you could move diagonally in a church. You know, bishops and all that. But no. No, it's, it never works out. How? How did I gold that? Ridiculous. We murdered a human priest. Yeah. We toss him a we toss him a fun grenade. Anyway, it's a Kojima narrative, and therefore our main protagonist must be uncomplicated. Good news, he's not dead. Yeah, so, to recap, Wesley Crumpton, not snatched. He's a human, but they gave him a lobotomy so that he would be very dumb, and he would believe that snatchers are good. Also, Wesley Crumpton, not dead. He's recovering fine. He'll make a full recovery now that he's in the hospital. recovery from oh dear uh, full recovery from grenade or lobotomy yeah they don't they don't really specify just you know full recovery that's a good point if Gillian is X, then Gibson is zero. That's true.
Ooh, that's not at all the order that I wanted. I wish I knew how to force the order of stuff. Whatever you do, don't dodge this guy. Please? Thank you. Oh my god, I need to throw another grenade. I'm probably not supposed to kill anything this strong at my current level. It is genuinely a very tough fight. Um, if I hadn't underflowed my money and put myself in a slightly better position than I'm supposed to be in, uh, I would just get bodied here. I really gotta use four destruction balls. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Yeah, you can see that was basically 1.8 levels in a single fight. Can't believe that I cheated at a video game. I can. It's not cheating if the game lets you do it. Why would they put underflows into a game if you're not supposed to use them?
Look, these robots are wearing sick Doc Martens, and I'm not willing to abide that. Never knows best. How's it going? Yeah, I'm aiming to cut two hours. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, I've been on pace, it's just the last boss is brutal. The best strats that I've found still have me basically having a coin flip. Am I good enough to... Killing two hits now. Ooh. No, three hits. You believe in me? That's why you vote against me in the bets. And so far, you've won all the bets where you've said that I won't win. Did I find something cool or am I just getting better? Um, so this game is, as you can see, one where, like, a lot of what getting better means is just better movement. Um, I am getting better, uh, but the biggest thing is I've been working on finding the areas where it is correct to level up. And when you're leveling up, what is your target level? Things along those lines. Still trying to figure out why all these robots want to steal South Dakota. I feel like there's a joke there that I don't get.
SD. Gotcha. Right. It's good enough. I'll finish my leveling up on the way. This room was not made to have two of you in here. Excuse me? Let me leave. Movement's terrible here. Ah, they're trying to steal Mount Rushmore because they work for Carmen San Diego. That makes sense. No matter how much you buffer right, it's not going to help you because you're supposed to buffer right here. Also, Nia, Celadors, and Smurfton, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. I don't know how to use doors. I can't enter, like, doors. Turns out that's, that's a very difficult thing to do in a video game. No way, I'm avoiding you. It's just rude.
No, you just need to press up against the wall for long enough, and the candle goes out. But the game's input handling does weird laggy things when you're right up against the wall, and it does weird laggy things just on this map in general. It does not like the candle sprites existing. No, okay. I'm so afraid of missing a candle at this point. This is one, yeah, no, this, this church is something else. Who am I fighting? You're, you're no, I'm, I'm not gonna play with you. Actually a little bit lower on. That's true, this church is fully automated.
Press X to confess? Yeah. Press F to pay indulgences. Stop trying to use diagonals in this church. It just does not work. get to move in the directions of the cross. Of course. Yeah, diagonals work on most maps. These map, the, the, the church's map is just, it's rough. If they both get the drop on me, they can do pretty nasty damage. Visiting more church rooms maximizes the user's piety. Good news. I visited all the rooms. This is bad. Thank God. See, it's very funny that I said that on account of uh, where we are. This is bad. Please stop. Just hold up a sec. I gotta do something. slow fight. Probably just should have thrown a missile, but I really want to save those for, um, coming up. So, the robots that I'm killing are not Snatchers. Uh, the robots are just robots. Um, in the original Snatcher, uh, all of these extra robot models didn't exist. There were just these spider-looking uh, robots called uh, Insectors. And you fought them with a 
it, it was basically um, whack-a-mole, which is why there's a whack-a-mole thing in this game. Snatchers are humanoid robots that kill people and uh, then disguise themselves as the humans that they have murdered. And it turns out that their skin, because they use an artificial skin, obviously. Yeah, as opposed to just robots that kill people. They're robots that kill people with motive. But their skin is imperfect and very prone to skin cancer when they're in the sunlight. Um, to the point that in the visual novel Snatcher, one of the main things that you're looking for whenever you're inspect, uh, not inspecting, investigating a uh, suspected Snatcher is whether or not they have uh, sunscreen, because it's winter and nobody can own sunscreen in winter. Yeah, the, the entire point of they have all these underground passages that they use for traveling is because they need to avoid the sunlight. Just like Dracula. Now, that sounds like I'm doing a bit, but that's actually part of the outwardly stated plot. Yeah, sunscreen. Actually, major plot point. These guys kind of suck. You've worn sunscreen in winter? Snatcher. I've got you now. That's right, only surfers wear sunscreen in winter. Alright, so it looks like we're super ahead, and, and we are generally fairly ahead. But we are less ahead than it looks, because I now have to start... Grinding. It's so dark. What if what if we run into something? Has never heard of a missile before. Oops, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry, if I run into something, it's not going to last very long.
but you can kind of see how badly everything is outspeeding me, or out, um, just out-leveling me here, outspeeding me as well. If you're not way, way outclassed, uh, the enemy doesn't usually get the first shot like that. You cannot flare outside battle. I don't think. I've never tried it, actually. Just sort of assumed. I'll try it. It would be very funny if I was wrong. Yeah, Gillian's just... He's, he's having another celebration. He's got these fireworks, he's gonna use them. I'll pick up the flashlight in a little bit. Yeah, I really, really like the design of, of these, um, these enemies. Genuinely. Because, yeah, the gun is nowhere near their bodies, which you'll see during my second time grinding. Yeah, as enemy design goes, it's very, very good. if you keep shooting the long appendage holding the gun? You can break the gun. Alright, last one. See Colin backslash? Thank you very much for the good luck. I also hope that I don't get snatched today.
It's ridiculous that you can only buy one at a time. Yeah. It, it definitely shows its age in that way. You've got to you've got to pick your missiles out by hand. If you aren't showing that amount of care, you're going to get what you deserve. Bum missiles. All right, I'm going to try and use a flare in the overworld, and I'm going to be very amused if it works. It does not. Okay. I didn't think it did. But it would have been very funny if it did. I didn't I didn't want to do that. I was actually trying to to you know what? Is just hanging out having a good time. The tail is just like a long ass ammo magazine. Yeah, it's a belt feed internally. So the goal here, uh, just for anybody who doesn't know the run yet, is 70 strength. Once we hit 70, that's that's the target, because I can go buy the best gun in the game, and, and I want this gun to be leveled up by the, um, by the final fight. Because in addition to your strength, your speed, your defense, and your HP, each individual gun that you use also gains XP. They're not like talking swords? No, not quite anything like that, thankfully. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. So the lizards, that was one of the lizards, um, have a really cool property that whenever you use a circuit killer, it automatically puts your gun reticle right on top of where their... Oh, that was Elizabeth. Right on top of where their uh, weak spot was. That was a lizard, I think. Yep. Lizards give less XP, although they do occasionally give you gun uh, ammo. To be clear, not a gun, just ammo for your gun. But I think that we're at the point where, yeah, one one missile is killing everything, which is really nice. Yeah, you can tell by the enemy stats as well. Also, their, their death explosions. I don't want to use a missile launcher on a lizard. Lizards also, they have the, the Gatling gun, whereas the um, 
Mana Wars use the uh, swirly plasma attack. Does your strength affect the damage that the missile does? Yes, your, your strength affects missile damage, it affects gun damage, because obviously if you pull the trigger harder, your bullet goes out and hurts more. That's just science. Nine kills is going to get me up to 70 exactly, but we're going to be really close. You punch the bullet as it leaves the barrel, making it go just that much faster. Exactly. Smurfkin gets it. to talk to you. So touching the back wall happens to respawn all of the dudes that spawn on the left hand side of the map. you can use that to your advantage. Gillian throws the missiles like Nerf footballs. That sounds about right. We should be close to my next strength up, which will put us at 69. One more strength up, and we are done grinding. Yeah, genuinely, I love the sound effects in this game. Uh, the sound is handled by the SCC Plus module, which, if I recall correctly, is Konami-specific and does wavetable synthesis. So this is going to be a lizard, so I can just mash attack here. I don't have to light up the arena. I understand the objection, but unfortunately in this case we have to make the sacrifice to go beyond nice. Alright, that's a lizard, so we can just mash attack. From a paralysis, uh, the, the mana war. From the paralysis point, the, um, the weak spots are two up or one down. But the mana war tends to move around a lot more. Alright, this is a mana war. Here's what the other enemy that I've been fighting looks like. One up or two down, excuse me.
taking a break from work. I hope work's going well. Yeah, the sound effect for when you get hit by weapons is real good. Glacier Wolf, thank you very much for the Prime Sun. Enjoy the badge. Enjoy the emotes. It means so, so much. That people enjoy this stream enough to want to subscribe to it. Uh, I did shoot one priest. I was very underleveled. So the grenades weren't doing as much as I was hoping that they would. I'm sorry. It was a robot priest, if that makes you feel any better. Actually, I'm very likely to use ammunition purchases to drive my money down. So I don't really want to, uh... I don't want to be losing, uh, the ability to purchase ammo. I did not kill a priest because Snatchers cannot be ordained. Oh, if that's true, then yeah, I didn't kill a priest. Look, I'm not going to say that there are no other Twitch streams where the chat would discuss in earnest how to make the 24 candle lock work. Like, in a real physical sense. But I am going to say that I'm lucky enough to have one of the, the Twitch chats that absolutely would, in earnest, talk about the engineering of such a lock. Do we know which de denomination the church is? Can we be sure robots can't be ordained there? I mean, it is literally the church about how Snatchers are going to save humanity, so... It's a, it's a clerical assembly. God. Fuck. That's so good. I bought way too many flares. I don't really need to buy so many flares anymore. Oh, please let me buy enough bullets to go broke. It's gonna be really close. I don't like that. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? There we go. Cool. Hey everybody, you want to go th go show the people at the movie theater our new gun? Let's go. Yeah, I think they're going to like it a lot. We can show them our missiles. Like we've got these 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 scuds now, these cruise missiles. These ICBMs. We throw them like a Nerf football, apparently. Am I going to go rope them? No, I don't have a rope. I, I recently was in a church. I saw what robes look like. I don't have one. They liked it. They liked the gun. They gave me the prize. Isn't that cool? Malico, how's it going? Should, uh, my, I'm hoping that it won't be a full three hours from now. I'm also hoping for no whammies. Absolutely, I'm hoping for no whammies. Alright, the only thing that I want to fight now is tanks. So, nothing upstairs. And none of the flying dudes. They don't give good enough experience and they take way too much to take down. Yeah, I think you usually leave before we get to this part. I am certainly making better time uh, than I have in the past. Yeah, so that cutscene is guaranteed on your way down. It is not guaranteed on your way back, and I don't know how to skip it. I've only skipped it twice. fairness, you did leave, you just also came back. Yeah, that's fair. It's a fair point.
Yeah, giving giving him random as the reading to his name, I think, is very good. Uh, but I genuinely prefer that they spell it the way that they did in this fan translation. R-A-N-D-A-M. Not, not the gun that I need to be using. That's fair. I deserve this. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be getting that cutscene every time. Alright, so this is actually kind of a scary fight if I get attacked first. Nope, we're good. Fan translation helps it fit a bit better for the future, but yeah, random... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's a terrible translation or anything like that. What happened to that Snatcher's legs? Lost them. That's probably why, that's probably why he's in the hospital, so they can get new ones. Skipped leg day. Fuck, oh, that's good. When I get this game down, will I move on to SDXC Snatcher? Maybe. CF card Snatcher. Is there a reason why a half-broken Snatcher that's almost dead hits like a goddamn tank? Yeah, that's the game giving you a quick heads up that every naked Snatcher is going to wreck your shit. Because naked Snatchers, it turns out, are extremely dangerous. And don't have to use legs when you got a mouth cannon. That's true. Cliff W, how's it going? You're ready for the Kojima Zone? Hell yeah, it's coming up. Does the skin weaken them or something? I think that the implication is that Rob and Lisa were just really weak. Like, the implication is just, oh, they kind of suck. But most Snatchers will just punch you in the face and it's going to hurt for a million years. So the next major milestone is uh, is 90 strength, by the way, and that's going to be the last gun purchase that we make. And the 90 strength gun isn't actually that good, but we need it because it has such a wide range. Uh, it has a 3x3 reticle, and it turns out, for some fights, that's necessary just because of how fast everything I'm going to be going up against is. Thank you. 
If you like to believe that they just don't like having to go to the Snatcher Hospital every two seconds because their skin rips off? Yeah, that's also a reasonable uh, theory, I think. Welcome in, Galehound. Hope you're doing well. I didn't use a missile. I could use one now, but it's too late. In the CD game, that's that's right. In the CD game, Lisa is already like really injured when you meet her, because Rob and Lisa were the ones who killed Gibson. I forgot about that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I I totally forgot that kind of important plot detail. Did they hack the Gibson? That is a very good pun. Uh, the answer to your question is no, they twisted his head off his body. Um, I'm hard-pressed to pick whether this game or the Sega CD Snatcher has a more gruesome Gibson head off the body photo. Like, in, in specific, uh, yeah, Jean-Jacques Gibson. Um, in absolute terms, the Sega CD does, but there's just something about the way that it's presented in this game that makes it feel way more gruesome than it deserves to be, <laughs> on account of it being a super deformed game. Okay, I think that I need to avoid the next one. Because otherwise I'll rank up, and if I rank up, then the upcoming fight is worth way less. Yeah, I absolutely should not fight the next guy. There's only one guy left. Goodbye. Yeah, it's more gruesome, but, like, there's something about the way that it feels on SD Snatcher that makes it feel... I think it's just the juxtaposition of super deformed, cute stuff with, uh... with the, the gruesomeness of the scene. Windpipe, yeah. That's a problem. Problem has ceased to be a problem.
Right, the eyes do actually do damage. What made me to decide to start playing SD Snatcher? Um, I forget exactly what it was. Something that's been on my list for a while, just because I happen to own... I almost said an MSX, but that's not a, in, entirely correct. I own two MSXs. And SD Snatcher is just one of those games that's considered like a classic of the system. And then I had a ton of fun with it, so I kept at it, decided. Okay, at this point, I should take out this guy. Just because that's, that's less, uh, that's less, um, animations overall. There's uh, a major plot point here that they kind of just gloss over, and that's that there are two people with the name Benson at, at the headquarters. And they do a good job of using that for uh, building tension.
think 81 puts me at the right right amount to be able to run away from everything here. What does metal in the battle do? Yeah, you, you don't see that in the speedrun, just because it turns out Metal Gear is very bad at controlling your targeting, uh, but it allows Metal Gear to control your targeting. What are you doing in the wall? What are you doing up there, buddy? Wallflower. Smart. Yeah, there's no way I'm dodging that guy. Is there any reason to let Metal Gear control the targeting in a casual run? Um... I don't... Honestly, no, I didn't use him in my casual run. I think Metal Gear is probably pretty good if you don't fully understand the way that the battle system is meant to work. Yeah, enemies can be pretty evasive, but They'll evade Metal Gear's shots just as much as yours, because it's your speed stat that matters, not, not anything with Metal Gear. Can we really trust a Metal Gear? Have you seen him? He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Alright, so I'm going to buffer up left, and maybe I'm going to dodge random, and maybe I'm not. Nope. Hope you have a flare left over. We're super deformed. Everybody's a little guy. Yeah.
Yeah, bomb the gun guy. Poor Gramps. Exactly 53 years old. He would have been three years old when we, when we went into cryo. That's weird. Yeah, the, the user manual for SD Snatcher is amazing. It has tons of little guys in it. It's super, super good. So, here's the thing, Jonimus Prime. You're saying that up to this point he's supposed to be just kind of the bomb merchant? Just kind of the guy what sells you guns? I need you to understand this about your casual playthrough. It's the fucking same. The only way this, this scene makes sense is if you've played Snatcher CD, or, you know, the original MSX Snatcher, PC-88 Snatcher, and you know the plot twist. Because if you don't know the plot twist, it's pretty weird that all of a sudden, the guy what sells you guns is like, I wanted to be a normal family with you. Where's the detective going to get all of his heavy weaponry now? I'd like to introduce you to RPG Shop Junior, a character that did not exist when this was not an RPG where you had to buy things from a shop. guns, but you can. Give me missiles. That kid was always standing right by Harry. Yeah. Like, there cannot be a more obvious death flag for the guy what sells you things. Then, hey, I'm here to sell you things. Also, here's another guy that's completely useless. The useless guy is either taking his place. Rude. Rude and ouch. But yeah, either either the useless guy is taking his place or could you stop, please? Become dead. So you might not have been here when we were discussing it. Uh, that was a question earlier. Uh, I am not wasting bullets on the shield because the squishy part that actually does HP damage is behind the shield. Yeah, I guess or the, the useless guy could die to be useful as a plot point. Yeah, the shield is real useful. It's a good thing that 
they don't keep using them. Okay. I am I'm not familiar with Overwatch stuff, so that's that's why I I didn't catch that joke. Fair enough. So the idea here for this fight is the experience for it more than doubles if this guy calls a friend. So I'm just shooting at his shield. There we go. And I shoot his shield so that his defense drops to zero, and now I'm gonna circuit kill them both and throw some missiles. Pretty soon here, it'll be just two missiles per, but right now it's three. Kyrol, how's it going? It's true, you are here just in time for the Kojima zone. Perfect accuracy, paralyze everyone, pretty okay. No, if I blind one dude, only that one dude's accuracy goes down. That's why I had to shoot the other one's shield. Turns out that shooting the shield also reduces their defense stat. I think this works on him. I think that it's just a, a turn waste. Yep. Alright, his defense is down. I can throw one more missile. Now he's pretty weak overall. Yeah, the UI is not the most intuitive when it comes to multiple things that could have the same stat. Please just call your buddy. Everything is better with friends. Come on. Thank you.
Annoying. Yeah, yeah, the fact that Vincent does the gonna get you pose. Which is how all the human dressed up snatchers kind of pose when they fight you. I think this puts me at 89. No. This one for sure does, though. enough actually I want to go do a snatcher fight for my last before I rank up and then I can buy more um, So avoiding the, the rank up here actually gives me more experience as a result of um, doing this fight. Which is a tiny, tiny optimization, but worth it.
almost time for Kojima Zone. I do need a little bit more in the way of levels. Oh, I only need one more level. Almost time for the best snatcher? That's true. My favorite thing is that I'm not sure which one you mean. You could genuinely mean one of two, and either is a reasonable, <laughs> reasonable choice. They're both great. take this guy out. Yep. Should only be a, a couple of fights away from strength up. The one that you mentioned at the beginning of the stream? Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Strong choice. This might... Actually, yeah, because it's only one animation. This is faster. Just mash. These guys are just similar robots. I don't think that they would be do a very good job in human skin. There we go. So this is, like, a weird split. I'm not going to gold here, but I should still gain time on my PB. So, in what is definitely going to be a tonal whiplash, it's time for us to go have a time in an amusement park. Fun fact, uh, there is a deactivated uh, exit to this map to an unfinished area in the original Snatcher, uh, SD Snatcher. 
and that, that exit was deactivated. I said that already. Uh, Project Melancholia decided that it would be a really funny joke to reactivate it so that you can go into an area with no exits and softlock yourself right at the end of the game. Isn't that funny? My favorite part of it is that the first thing that happens when you enter that area, there is a text box that says, looks like you went somewhere you shouldn't have. There's another plot point that's just never explained in the Super Deformed game. The sneezing? They never explain that shit. What is the sneezing? Okay, so in this game or in, in this universe, um, for reasons that are not adequately explained, or at least I don't remember exactly why, um, snatchers just happen to congregate in areas where there is a pollen called Snow Nine. And Snow Nine universally causes throat irritation and sneezing in actual humans. If you ever get a job as a clown, I dream that one day you can find a random guy at a circus and tell them there's a shadow of death looming, looming over you, mister. I like to imagine that that was a small child dressed as a clown who said that. I think that every parent should teach their children that phrase. That's right. It's also the natural. It's also natural sunblock, which is why it, it's the ideal place for snatchers to hang out. Thank you. I had forgotten that detail. It's been a long time since I've played Snatcher. You assume that humans were allergic to the artificial skin? No. No, nothing, nothing that simple. It can't be that simple. So I should mention by now, or around now, that we are coming up on a point where uh, there's going to be time for a game of Mahjong. If I can get three people who, in, I don't know, 20-ish minutes, 
would like to play an East game. Just a friendly game of Mahjong. If that sounds fun, you should be ready. Yeah, absolutely. You'll know when it's time. Yeah, as long as you're around. I'll open up the room, drop the room code, and the first pe three people who get in. Cliff W? Absolutely, sounds good. Oh no, is it undergoing server maintenance right now? Oh no! There might not be Mahjong tonight. That is very funny. I've, I've managed an East-South ga uh, South game once, and I have overshot more than once. That was still not that bad. Still pretty close to gold. Maj Soul is down. Damn. I guess we're just gonna all have to hang out and talk, enjoy each other's company. Got a really cool chat though, so. Why, why, why did I mash? Yeah, I've got to use Midnight Express on these fights. Not this one, but the rest of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
like how they had to make it extremely clear that you weren't fighting actual pandas. Yeah. Okay, I believe we are now at the... Yes, this way. Do not fall down that pit. Walk down. Left down the wall. Far left. Exactly here. Move down to the wall. So I do actually want to take all of these snatcher fights. These snatchers are very, very good experience. Waldo ass snatcher? Yes, correct. Found him. the wall. Yep, so left a lot, or right a lot. Here, go down. In this part you have to be really careful. Do exploded robots have reflections or are they vampires? I think that they have reflections, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess we're about to find out. map. This one is not too bad. There are a couple of pitfalls that you can fall into, but mostly they're good. Mostly this map's fine. I should heal. I should really heal. Panda bear helped me decide. Thank you. 
I knew that wasn't going to work. Terrible movement. What did Roomba do? Shot at me. It's very rude.
drugs heal for a variable amount of your health as the game goes on. Uh, towards the end of the game, they heal for just a little bit more than half. So the answer to your question is yes for right now. Earlier, uh, the drugs heal for way more than that. Played uh, Mahjong before? How often do the, the like super special hands happen? Uh, vanishingly rare. I assume that you're talking about any of the Yakuman hands, and yeah, vanishingly rare. There's a reason that they are worth enough points to end the game on the spot. I believe that statistically the most likely Yakuman hand is Suanko, which is four, uh, three of a kinds just in your hand that you didn't have to call. Um, I believe that the most commonly called Yakuman is uh, Kokushi, 13 orphans, and that's just because it's much easier to kind of quantify looking at your own hand. This is, you know, this is two tiles away from 13 orphans. So then maybe you go for it. Fourteen orphans practically never, that's true. somebody tries to win with 14 orphans, uh, you get to call them a cheater, and you win on the spot instead. I think that I've, I've had Suanko, um, how many times? Two or three times, tops. Um, Kokushi, I've probably had about that many times, two or three times, maybe a couple more, like, in special game modes where you are meant to, to be more likely to get Yakuman hands, but in normal play, like, two or three times. Um, I have not had any of the other Yakuman hands other than uh, Kazue Yakuman, which is just, your hand was worth a lot of points, so we decided that you get a Yakuman. Um, I have, however, been hit by nine gates. And that sucked. I didn't like it at all. Fresh and gluten-free. Mahjong is super fun. I I absolutely endorse anybody saying that they that they think that they should learn Mahjong, they think they want to learn Mahjong. Hop in Minimat's Discord. Hop in my Discord. Um, I think Author Blues is pretty busy nowadays. Like his Discord has a lot of Mahjong going on on it. Um, there's a lot of good spots just filled with people who would love to teach people who want to learn how to play Mahjong. Thank you. 
Oh dear. Uh, I might die. Please, miss. Thank you for not killing me. Apparently he was hitting way less hard than I thought. Phew. Yeah, it's, it's the Japanese variant that we've been playing. It's, it's hard for me to really quantify. What I've read suggests that Ricci tends to favor slightly more balanced or defensive play versus other variants. Uh, but given that I only really know Ricci Mahjong, I, I have a hard time asserting that, like, really authoritatively, you know? Yeah, I think Furry Tin adds a ton of dimension to play. Um, because otherwise it's just, it's counting cards, which, you know, is... I need enough skill. I'm not I'm not trying to discount it as as a uh, as a strategy and you certainly keep track of tile counts in your head when you're playing Ricci as well. Godlike. And yeah, what Perk is saying in chat, that it's more closely related to card games than it is to a game like chess, is 100% correct. As somebody who plays a lot of Go, Mahjong is what I like to play when I'm not in the mood to play a game like Go. Is there a 2x2 two two variant version of Mahjong a la Bridge? I have no idea. I have not encountered it. Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess... I guess we could, we could say that... Uh, in absolute terms, Washizu Mahjong is uh, arguably two versus two. 
or at least is uh, canonically played as such. Oh, and yeah, Chiral saying literally the exact same thing that I just said. Yeah, no, no, no. How dare you say the thing that I said? No, no, no. Terrible. Awful. I hate this. Goodbye. Just playing and then scoring based on summing instead of um, taking points away from everybody could be interesting. Yeah, that could be interesting. strength, 55 defense. It's probably fine for the big bad. Big bad is not the final boss, to be clear. Big bad is the upcoming scary boss fight. Is it better for the big bad than I was the other day? Fair enough. Let's rank 45 then. I feel like everything is hitting me really hard right now. Maybe it's just because I'm stressed because I want to win the game. Please give me good Jamie luck. God, I don't have... I, I hope I don't have to full clear Jamie again.
Anubis, how's it going? On, good luck. Next hit off here. Putting your fake money on the fourth fake chain. Be better than last night. Last night, yesterday. Yesterday. Last night, yeah. That's, that is that is how it works. Um, yeah, not not having to do a full clear already would be good. A prediction. Uh, it's a little bit hard just because there are so many Jamies to choose from. So it would have to be ranges. Like, is it going to be in one through four, five through eight, or the rest? That's unfortunate. Is that enough to run? It is. Goodbye. Yeah, that one calls you a dumbass. Ooh, and I'm so close to ranking up. So this is going to be better experience than it would have been if I had fought even one more Jamie. Which is great. Just have to get... Alright, this is a scary fight. Wait, what? Did I not get the... Hard? Hey. I did kill the one that called me dumbass, right? I 
Apparently I am a Junker dumbass. Yeah, the one with the different music played. I'm so confused. So I've never had this happen before. It's always random which, uh, which Jamie is the one with the different dialogue. And the, the one with the different dialogue is supposed to be the one with the, um, the key card. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't get it. Weird, weird.
Yeah, I'm quite certain that I killed the keycard Jamie. I mean, maybe my VOD is, is gonna show me to be actually a junker dumbass. No, you do not have to take a look at the door to see that it's uh, locked. Just, just attack with the needle pointer. That gets rid of the most armor, and that's the deal. Gotta get rid of armor. I spawned immediately into another combat before it could before it could give me the key card because there were two enemies on the same spot. You're right. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. That's why. That's got to be This is actually becoming kind of high stress. Yeah, I got frame perfect glitched. It's good to know that that's a, a pitfall that I can fall into. Is that good enough? It might not be. I hope it is. If it ever happens again, just leave and return to the room. Yeesh. Can I paralyze this guy? I'm gonna try. I don't think I can. How much health could this thing possibly have? A lot. Yeah, it's a scary fight. Oh yeah, there's definitely a break at 4 hours 30 minutes. It's just not a Mahjong break, because... Mahjong client that everybody uses is down for maintenance, apparently. Solitaire. That would be very funny.
No, nope. you come here. I need to kill more of you. All right, everybody, I will be right back because it is time for that break around four hours and 30 minutes. I mean, I also play on Tinho, but I don't have capture set up for that or anything. Yeah, I know. 
Worst possible timing for maintenance. Cheddar broccoli soup whips. I love cheddar broccoli soup. How much time do you spend talking to Jamie in a casual run of this? Um, she has something different to say every story beat, so, like, there's, there's a bunch of different little back and forths. Um, one of the non- able to be sped up cutscenes does make it clear. Gillian and Jamie are married. They both lost their memories, which this will sort of go into at some point. Um, and for that reason, they're like semi-estranged. The dynamic is different between SD Snatcher and Snatcher CD. But yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of interaction. It's not huge. Like, I wouldn't say that, that anything in this is, like, super fleshed out and human, but, you know, it's... She's present almost all the time. She's the one who saves your ass when, uh, when you have to give up your badge and your gun. Yeah, her being kidnapped is, from a narrative standpoint, it's compelling. In a in a casual playthrough, it doesn't come across quite as much as like a so fucking what. Yeah, the video call where she pranks you by wearing the Snatcher mask. The video calls are very good in Snatcher CD. Snatcher CD is just pretty good. How did that happen? I keep on, like, semi-improving at the game, except also the last boss at low level is basically a coin flip. That's, that's how I'm two hours ahead. Yeah, this, the, the last boss, unlike most speedruns, in this game the last boss is really, really tense. I hope this run exceeds my expectations. I mean, I've got a bunch of free time save in this split. Next run, if this PBs. All I have to do is just not get frame perfect fucked over by the, the game. I have a son. Haley's Comet? Sounds like he's asking if Haley's Comet is his son. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, look, there, there are some things that will be in every Kojima game, and one of those is repeating back a recent uh, point of conversation with a question mark at the end of it.
Gillian takes the existence of Metal Gear in stride. Never once goes, Metal Gear? Honestly, it's a little bit disappointing. What's good, Loon? That's true. These days, everyone has a Metal Gear. There's a little guy that hangs out on your shoulder, aims your guns for you. Oh my god, you're right. This is a sad dad game. God damn it, you're right. Metal, Metal Gear Navi Petite is not as snarky, nowhere near as snarky as CD Snatcher Metal Gear. Um, mostly because he doesn't have as many lines. Like, the one line that I can really think of that is a line and not just a I hear voices is, um, you shouldn't... He can't hear you. You shouldn't talk to a, a computer screen. Why don't you just be quiet and watch the video? Which captures the snark pretty well. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's because you let the volume turned up is a fucking fantastic line. court order demanding that that Madnar stop saying the snatch plan oh, I've got bad news for you he'll die before he stops saying the snatch plan what triggers that line that's a unavoidable line. Um, early in the game, some things happen, plot happens, and then an explosion happens. And Gillian says, my ears are ringing, and Metal Gear says, that's because you left the volume turned up. Alright, 
so that I don't have to ask somebody else to do it, I've gone ahead and started a prediction. As I mentioned, it's basically a coin flip. With the best strats that I've come up with, it's basically a coin flip whether I win or the the ultimate snatcher wins. So, who do you think wins this fight? It's going to be a little bit still. Like, I have to go and fetch Lucifer, or, um, I have to, I have to, um, I have to fetch angels to counteract Lucifer. Flipped a coin and got tails. Bad omen for the boss fight. Yeah, that's fair. So, this was the first time that this story got a third act. Snatcher on the PC-88 and MSX was famously just kind of unfinished story-wise. Um, so this is best viewed more as a first draft to the, the Sega CD third act. They're similar, they, they bear resemblances. Yeah, so the, the order that things got published in, Snatcher came out for PC-88 and MSX. Then SD Snatcher, this game, came out for the MSX. And then Snatcher was basically like revamped, reimagined, and genuinely fantastic job done and released for the Sega CD. And it... Between SD Snatcher and Snatcher, there are a lot of similar plot beats, but uh, there's there's a lot of differences throughout. If you play both of them back to back, you'll be like, oh, that's that's interesting how they took it in a different in a different direction many many times. That's true. It did have Punisher support on Sega CD. So if you had a rich friend, you might have got to experience that. Uh, I don't think that there's necessarily a better one to play first. There are a couple of plot points in the original Snatcher that you are assumed to know. Things like Snow Nine. Uh, leading to sneezing. Otherwise, just everybody at the theme park is sneezing all the time for reasons that are unclear. Yeah, because SD came out later, there are a couple of plot points that you're just assumed to know. Um, it doesn't take away from your ability to enjoy the game. It's just information where if you play it SD first and then CD after that, you'll go, oh, that makes sense now.
Miss XSD Snatcher first, yeah. Uh, assuming that you don't read Japanese fluently, I strongly recommend Project Melancholia. That's the translation patch that I'm playing, and it's very, very, very good. It also has a couple of quality of life things, like slightly nicer, more fluid animations in battle, stuff like that. Um, maybe this weekend, I'm unsure, but sometime um, when I have more time at my disposal. I'm planning on doing a speedrun of the Japanese build of Snatcher without Project Melancholia. I expect that one to be longer just because of animation times. Yeah, yeah, the entryway in the front of the castle in Kojima Land is a real fuck you, but if you're playing this game casually, you'll probably be saving along the way. The human heart does have a gun in, 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 it, in its mouth, yes, that's correct. That's, that's how it works. going, Shmup Dog Joe? I mean, if you keep on showing up just in time for me to lose to the final boss, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to find out what happened in the first four hours. Some things happened. I tossed a grenade to a priest. The priest didn't catch it and got injured, and I briefly was not allowed to be a police officer anymore, but it turns out, actually, it's okay what I did. Um, and then I murdered two more priests, but they were robots. And um, then I broke into a hospital and murdered the head doctor there. And now we're here. Yeah, OpenMSX is what I'm using. Um, I'm just emulating the the exact model of MSX that I happen to own one of, although it's in the States right now. Uh, the I'm using a Panasonic FS-A1 GT, which is... I mean, I bought it so that I could play MSX2 games. Um, and it worked great until I moved out of the country and don't have it for right now. But as you can see, it runs this just fine. <clears throat> one big difference between Sega CD and SD Snatcher. Only one of them has the JRPG final boss. That's true. Oh yeah, I did play Whack-A-Mole two times. Which is substantially fewer times than you will play Whack-A-Mole if you're playing CD Snatcher. And robbed a cinema three times, that's true. Wait, no. I didn't rob them. I won the prize. I won the I showed up with guns and grenades prize. It's worth 65,535, uh, I almost said gold, uh, dollars. This and Metal Gear 2 are mostly what you'd, uh, play on MSX. That's fair. Um, I originally bought my MSX from Maze of Gallius.
Yeah, Mace of Gallius is very, very fun. I also have another game that I purchased the card of that I forget the name of it. The name is four characters long. You are exploring basically your your tomb raiding and um, you use the character's emotions because he has different stats based on how he's feeling at the time. It is a very strange but pretty fun game, uh, and it would be great if I could remember the title of it, but I can't. Lula? That might be it. does not appear to be it. I'm gonna be real. I thought that there was less cutscene when I started that prediction. I didn't need to I didn't need to limit it to 15 minutes. I could have let it run for a little bit longer. Yeah, there were some Jap uh, Japanese MSX games that made it over to Wii U VC. Also, La Moana, which is the best MSX game, other than the fact that it never came out on the MSX. Spiritually, it's an MSX game. You're trying not to read the story because you plan to play it? That's reasonable. Just remember, it's important after the 31 minutes of cutscene is done that you properly think exposition man. La Milana 1 does not have scrolling, no. Exposition man. The man, what does exposition? I don't think that La Milana Remake has um, scrolling either. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It does not. Thank you. Yeah, 2 has scrolling. I know that 2 has scrolling. It also doesn't have cap pausing, but it does have clipping through ev everything. is a speedrunning trick named after the zeroth cap, uh, where you have a one frame, I believe. I don't speedrun La Milana 1, um, but I think it's one frame window to pause during a, a uh, screen transition to, um, it messes with a bunch of collision and stuff, 
Uh, cat pausing is very, very important for the speedrun. No, so it's not flipping back and forth. If you see a runner flipping back and forth, that's because they missed the cat pause and they have to try again. I'd be willing to bet that if you looked at the world record, first try cat pause every time. Because it the the screen transitions are very slow in that game. They're great, they look nice. They're not fast. All right, well, good news about that court order. Madnar's not going to be saying much at all anymore. Yeah. It only took him, like, 29 minutes to die, but he is dead now. Zelda... Screen transition pausing warps link to the other side. That's interesting. I've only done the... the pixel-perfect left-right or right-left to, to warp to the other side of um, the map. I didn't know that you could do it with a pause. All right, back to the game. Isn't it great having an entire anime episode as an unskippable cutscene in the middle of the run? Yeah. It's luxurious. You can take a restroom break. You could take a shower if you wanted to. I mean, so one thing that is not as obvious to anybody who has not attended GDQ is that there's a lot of stuff that goes on. Damn, damn. There's a lot of stuff that goes on um, behind the scenes, like off camera at GDQs. Uh, one of those is a board game room. And I promise you, there's constant Mahjong being played at GDQ. The last GDQ that I was at, they, they decided that Mahjong was no longer cool enough, and they decided that it was going to be Washizu Mahjong that they were playing. Obviously. Uh, Circuit Killer works every time on these enemies. They will be paralyzed for at least one turn. Talk to this guy.
If I'm honest, I don't think that an HD remake of this music would change that much. A uh, guitar version could be interesting, but just in terms of, like, audio quality, I don't think there's much that needs to be, like, changed. This doesn't, because it's a, a wavetable uh, synthesis thing going on, it doesn't feel that, it doesn't feel that bad. The quality feels overall quite good. Okay, yeah, getting... So, changing styles, that's different. That could be quite cool, yeah. Oh, uh, good to know that... That the, uh, Lucifer test tube dudes still exist even before I spawn them. Yeah, if you break that tube, it's a game over. It's a good mechanic, actually. It's very smart. So, uh, you can't get Angel before you talk to the guy. And I will prove it to you. Because I want to kill the two guys in here for experience anyway. Yeah, hitting that test tube, not good. So, two dudes dead. one's going to magically spawn the moment that I'm told go kill a snatcher because it probably has hell angel and wouldn't you know it this one's gonna have it Yellow is good. We want yellow. That's the antidote. Come on. Alright. 
He dies his attack. Nope, we do not need more than one, but we don't want to break the other test tubes because I don't know whether or not it, uh, whether or not it ruins the, the, the run. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just a coward, is what you can take away from this. Speed up is nice. I wouldn't mind one more defense up. These guys are super quick to kill. Oh, HP up. Yeah, I really like the locational damage. Strength up is nice. It'll be good for further reducing uh, final boss's stats. Oops. This might not be in an auto kill, which is a bummer. My fault, though. Just kidding. It's not a big deal. I should actually heal. A naked snatcher getting a preemptive hit on me would still put me down real close to death. After this next room, I will. This next room can easily, like, whittle down a little bit of health. Fine. 
I shouldn't use these here. Yeah, I should use the last four missile launchers that I have. Speed up is actually kind of a mixed bag. Please miss. Thank you. Yeah, I actually want... There we go. That defense up is really big. I want the final boss to be outspeeding me because I am taking advantage of that. So speed ups at this point, not the best thing in the world. But we're pretty much done. 53 is higher than I will probably go for future runs. Good movement.
Yeah, the map enemies are being real... Real rude. Maybe it need it maybe it's just free time save next run. I am admittedly like I'm a little bit nervous at this point. It's like this could be an okay time. I'm going to have a couple of extra circuit killers, which is fine. Better than running out at a, at a critical moment. All right, don't get into a fight with... Cool. All right. Welcome to Skin, everyone. Do you like Skin? You love having Skin? Skin is useful? Skin is pretty okay? I've got great news for you about Skin. What if I told you that somebody had discovered the secret to perfect skin? Perfect how? Look at this wall of skin. It's perfect. Is it immune to melanoma? Funny that you should ask that. It is! As a major plot point, in fact, yes. actually really worried that I have too much speed for phase two. If I start outspeeding the ultimate snatcher, that's actually really bad for the manipulation plan. So we'll see what happens. Please enjoy this music, it fucking rules. No, Jamie is fine, by the power of plot. Most humans barely use 10% of their skin, this is full power. Exactly! 
Are you kidding me? What a start. Oh, this is bad. I extremely need him to not outspeed me. Or to, to outspeed me. I need to not outspeed him. He needs to move. Please dodge. Thank you. So the entire plan here is to whittle down his left shoulder and his abs. Great. on defense, I'm gonna risk it. Because that's guaranteed to, to drop his attack a lot. Here's hoping that I can... Alright, let's... Oof. Yeah. No defense on me is so hard to deal with. Please miss. All right, please use your Lucifer. M Lucifer or miss is what we need now. I think I died. No? This is so stressful. Of course I didn't save. This is a speed run. We're starting to lose uh, oomph in the left shoulder. I gotta. Left shoulder is not scary anymore. Abs missile still a little bit scary. Yeah, damage scaling for each part is separate. Uh, no, no, can't can't risk it. Not yet. Once I can take down one more hit, we can start risking racing. Abs missile still hits like a truck. Oh, 
Alright, this is gonna be a victory. I prop no, I'm probably not killing him in one hit. It's probably two hits that I kill him in. Oops. Alright, so this is a win. Thank you for the GG's. I don't remember how long the last little bit of cutscene is. Because you can't, you can't mash through it fast, like you can't speed up the text. I have no idea if this is actually going to be a two-hour time save. Almost certainly not. I definitely hit my 540x goal, yeah. Yeah, some... Um, I've got one more name incentive that I need to do, and then after that it's back to Final Fantasy V. Right, so not not a two-hour PB. Bummer. So it's when I hit the uh, the door is when time is. Yeah, sub 5:30. Hope so. I can save a ton of time though. I didn't need to I didn't need to be this level. I should be able to, to win it at level 50, level 51, and it shouldn't be much harder. In fact, I'm less likely to outspeed him if I'm lower level. Please be a sub-530. TVJ, thank you very much for the GG. I didn't achieve my goal of 5-4x, though. 
What a bummer. Nice. I hope that I hope that all 69 viewers are enjoying the show. Understandable, yeah. <laughs> the viewer that disappeared was random. Jumped into a nuclear reactor. Yeah, they just, they forgot that this was supposed to be super deformed Snatcher in the epilogue. So now everybody's super long and their heads are all squished. Oh wow, 50-50 bet for me versus the other, <laughs> me versus the ultimate snatcher winning. You can't be more of a coin flip than that. Okay, the way that they word it is very funny. Um, when you're when you're managing the prediction. In this case, the, the way that the wording ended up being, because I, I, I like safety checks, so I leave all of the uh, little warning boxes on. So it, it read, are you sure that Xseed won this prediction? Which is very funny to me, because it's just a little bit too real. Always bet on Tina Hacks? Have you been to this stream for the last week? I've been I've been really, really good at driving the time down right up until I lose the run to the ultimate snatcher. Yo, Mario, how's it going? Thank you for the GG. I have a policy of, of letting credits roll when I PB. This is the first game that's really, really tested that result, though. I understand that scrolling credits over a static image is genuinely very impressive on an MSX. You didn't have to be that impressive. Yeah, sub 6, sub 530. I guess my next goal is like 515ish. I lost so I lost a ton of time to stupid stuff. Um Dumb time to candles. Eh, not the dumbest time to Jamie, but kind of dumb time to Jamie. Real, uh, I, I just had my ID card glitched out um, 
of existence in Elijah. So plenty of things that are very, very improvable. Um, Japanese will probably be a weekend stream. I'll definitely do a Japanese run just so that we can see what the time difference is. I anticipate Japanese being probably like an hour longer. Um, apparently Project Melancholia did a fair amount of work speeding up battles, making animations smoother, basically making the game faster. So Project Melancholia is definitely, I think, probably the best casual experience for this game, based on that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the Japanese is like. It could well just be that Japanese text is... that it makes up all the difference. since these push me out into, you know, 2.33 a.m. Tacking on an extra hour to that is just not, it's not tenable. Not during the week. You wanted to see a win yesterday, but you voted no because you tend to be a bad, unlucky influence. Today you voted yes because you hoped the desire sensor would work. See, I think that both times you got what you voted for. I think maybe you're not as unlucky of an influence as you say. You voted yes because you wanted to be part of the PB yesterday? You probably were part of a PB yesterday. You probably had a PB in terms of points that you took from the rest of the table. You were like over what? I think that you were over 75k in the game that we played, right? It's impressive. It wouldn't let you vote this time for some reason. Oh, that's a bummer. Now you're glad that it held you back. That's less of a bummer. game is 8-bit era. It, it is only Kana. That's true. Differences in time were probably smaller than I think. Yeah, no, that's fair also. like the end credits and the Elijah cutscene both share the same critical problem. They use an extremely short loop compared to the length of the cutscene that they're meant to accompany.
I love this. I love the difference between one sound effect person, just one, and then the music composers. The list just keeps going on and on. You think that it's done, and then, joke, there's another person. Snatchers or bioroids? Uh, snatchers are bioroids that specifically were programmed. It, it's implied that they have free will. So <laughs> uh, that's that's an interesting question. Um, but yeah, uh, the snatchers are bioroids. They're just the bioroids what murder people and then wear their skin for fun. Vanilla Night Rail, yeah, um, the credits do move at a speed in this game. How many Snatchers are depicted in the, uh, the ending splash screen? Um, I don't know if we are, if we ever find out whether or not Chief Benson is a Snatcher the whole time. Jamie could be a Snatcher. Obviously Random is a Bioroid. So Chief Benson and Jamie are the two question marks there. So between one and three. You're assuming, based on the fact that she and Gillian are friendly here, she's not one of the Snatchers? I mean, she could just be a better Snatcher that doesn't immediately blow its cover. We don't know. Yeah, Random's not a Snatcher. Random's a Bioroid. In fact, the game, the game gives his specific type of Bioroid a name. He's an anti-Snatcher. I'd like to thank Project Melancholia for putting three people's names on a single line. 
The world needs more people like you. Why did Elijah make the Snatchers when he had Lucifer A? Were you not paying attention to the 31 minute long cutscene? Did you not have laser focus on everything that was said? So the point was that the Snatchers were supposed to replace entire populations. And they needed to have it happen overnight, which is why Lucifer Alpha was originally created. So the idea is an entire city gets wiped out with Lucifer Alpha, and then immediately Snatchers replace everybody in the city. Go on. That's a... Uh... What? Contrived? Dumb? Stupid? I'm curious what what descriptor you're about to you're about to use. Kojima. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's Kojima, alright. Reminiscent of my friend's awesome Shadowrun game from when we were 12. Yeah, that also feels appropriate. Lucifer Alpha is a sledgehammer used to wash the dirty window that is humanity. Well put. The Snatchers were the new window. Yep. Yeah, the, um, the original plot was just that Snatchers were targeting key figures, like world leaders and stuff like that. The rich and powerful. Uh, this game changed that a tiny bit. Yeah, the Sega CD one also has it as key figures. It uses the original game's um, plot, except for the third act. Good run. I'm not happy with it at all, but, you know, new time to beat. 